I'm doing a lot of things. I am new to this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I do this. Go with oh yes. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way.
restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. My parents took this after I made my first repair. Seems like a lifetime. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish.
Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there beyond the four walls of our antique store that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I try to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Why 
did you do that? Batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. sit by your side and hold you so tight know that i will always love you even though we Looks both like still know that missing. we must say good night good night my darling Should make sure I screw everything back together. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off, 
It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. I wouldn't be able to fix. My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together?
Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, 
seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. wires are in the right configuration. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Now, let's see if I can actually hear myself again. <laughs> oh, crap. Mike was not on. Your video's working fine. When, when I, I handed, handed the phone, phone back, back to, to Carmen, Carmen she, she seemed almost, almost reluctant, reluctant to take it from me. Alright, the mic's picking up this, so I can mute that and see if that will actually work. There's probably some background stuff going too. 
Yep, that's gonna be a thing. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill, anyway. <laughs> and the rent, and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Nice karma. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favourite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Oops, I'm not actually moved it. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. That stream, uh... There is no undo. Only you can do. Only who could prevent fire support fire. So I've been talking this whole time and there's been no words from me. Because <laughs> the mic wasn't on. Oh, I'm such a noob. Anyways, DJ skip track here. Play is some assembly required. First Twitch stream ever. There's going to be some bugs and kinks. If the signal cuts off, it's because of the phone. And there may be background noises here and there. But we'll see. Anyways, back to the game. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. Oof. Yeah, make sure you make up the funding. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just still trying to do some things. I'm basically on the... See in the background, doing nothing, as usual. When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee. Her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. Oh god, I have to get ready. Uh-oh. Yeah, sure how you do this. Actually, one. I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Hmm. The plot thickens. Call me, reach me if you wanna teach me, if you wanna page me. Okay, so many different songs for that. Ah. So yeah, my personality is kind of random, but mostly like don't talk as much. I'm trying to get into the zone. It's not very easy. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. The reason my voice got lower is because, as I said, don't live on my own. If I lived on my own, it'd be much easier, and I wouldn't, and nobody would care. <laughs> I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Whoa. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over the fact that I've been talking. Random stuff. The man. woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... Oh, I'm starting to put two and two together. Another power of mine. If I... People would think that I spoiled something. But the matter of fact is, if I, I most of the time I've never seen these things before. Like I said, I'm playing this one, I know what's going to happen, I know something. We'll find out later. It's just that it's a run-of-the-mill trunk that's been done too many times. So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Oh, we'll find out now. <laughs> Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. Ooh. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. This might actually come to me because I did have a camera that 
didn't focus or anything. Anyways. Again, there's the lens. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. Yeah, you'd be surprised. So it's broken mirror here. Screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Hmm, interesting. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Stupid screw. Oh crap. I need to do this again. Good as ever, guys. Sometimes. Okay, you know what? Let's put everything back together first. <laughs> it's just like this in there, yeah, this in there. And then rotate. Let's put my screws back for it. No, it's not. It's not. It's not what I wanted to do. No. Okay, screwdriver. Screw that back. Dang it. Don't do that. Remember to use the other mouse to recalibrate. No, dang it. Oh, you go there. That's what I was doing wrong. And then up here, move this around carefully. Put this back on here. Grab a screw. Another screw. And we use this to recalibrate. And there we go, the camera was already complete. Uh, so, anyways, as I'm saying, how you doing to the chat? I made an introduction to myself a while back that earlier about that. I'm basically a music junkie and other people there. Oh, look who's came up the show. Hello. Again, to Dick Pear and Lemon Juices 12. Welcome. And thank you for staying around to see what's going on on this little stream that's turning into a total complete disaster. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. 
I put my disposable to shame. That's what happens when you have money. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. But it was worth it. Rich! I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. Uh, probably more than I could afford. <laughs> and that's, and plus, adjusted for inflation, if you're talking about three figures, that's probably like five, six if it's mid condition. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Some people like to save money. By switching to, by switching to Geico, which saves you 50% or more car insurance. <laughs> it's not sponsored by Geico. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Unlike somebody we know. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That's what it is. You need to make her own bank before you can make rank. That's why I don't ask people for money, because then people will be expecting things a bad representation of yourself. Best that you're able to make your own money, you can take care of all the things you need to take care of. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. I hope so too. Life through a lens. Alright, we've already gone through five chapters. Bye. <laughs> And we're stuck in the dark. Oh no, neon sign. It went out. That's probably why she ain't getting no business. Let's fix this thing. The sun was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. That meat freak. Exactly. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I probably should try and balance this while I'm here. <laughs> but I think it's pretty balanced right now. Everything sound good, chat? I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. Yeah, you need to put yourself on the map. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? All the bots. Assemble. <laughs> I am so cringy. Oh, cringy bad humor that nobody laughs to. That's me. All right, so we have, once again, Candy Danny Screwdriver doesn't want something to need to be screwed. I guess not, so just rotate. Oh! There we go. So I gotta just screw up the front and. Hmm. Maybe it was another one here. I can just toss this aside. Now more wires to connect. I think it's a missing piece here. But... What the one I wanted to do? I wanted to... I guess you can't... Up there. Hmm. 
I never had to deal with it. Oh, I did put some glue on it. That's fine. Here we go with the glue again, guys. <laughs> That's why you weren't. Okay, now we got the new wires. Is there anything else we need? Cause you have to go over here. Ah. That's how those go. And then I think all I have to do now is just do this. Wait. You sure that's all we need to do? It's only two wires, right? I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. There's only one way to find out. I recalibrate my mouse again. Jeez, okay, there we go. Now we got in got in view. Wow, that was surprisingly simple. I don't know, it's a bit uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes it'll really catch people's eye. Hmm. Maybe. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Hello there, new part that was all of a sudden added. Alright, so now we gotta take these off again. Why didn't you give me this thing sooner? No. Nope. Alright, there we go. Could have gave me this sooner, would have saved us so much time. And then we just unscrew these again. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I don't even remember what her name was. I'm just like Jay-Z. Because uh, before I jump out the window, I want to remember what your name is. Right, then you take you off. Put you here. Need the glue again. Stick her good. Make sure that is looped up and fitting good and not rotating. Now this is where the other cords come in. Hmm. Wait. Okay. Confused a bit. A little bit confused. That should work. We're still got one to spare. Again. Put the sign back together. There we go. Rotate again. All right, here we go. Now this is actually even a little simpler. Now we can screw it back on. As soon as we know, these screws so precise. No, oh, dang it, I was trying to rotate you. This one is better as a mobile game and not as a full flesh game, but there we go. Alright, we got it working now. Hmm, it still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Just keep adding new stuff. Okay. <laughs> Now we know why we have four of these cords. There's more stuff going on. Alright. Come on, Mouse. Stop going to the chat. There's nobody in the chat. Nobody wants to say anything. <laughs> Don't mind. I understand there's not many people here. I'm just joking around. But I thank y'all for at least trying to give this channel a shot. Ah, uh, anyways. Once again, unscrew. Rotate. Unscrew. Ah. <laughs> uh. That up. And then we gotta rotate you again, and now we go and glue this stuff on. La da 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 da. 
Look like something. Oh, you here. Court here. Court here. That back. Yeah, perfect line, then this happens. Yeah, right before we. That there. I guess we choose one of these. Wonder if it's a multi a multi multiple solution. I cannot talk right now. And then let's go and rotate. Let's stop having you on this side of the screen, dang it. Let's just uh, do I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. I feel like there's a multiple solution to this. I'm gonna stick with this one. If you wanna know the other solution, if the other solutions were, you can let me know. But it's Twitter and whatever, and there's a retry sign. But we don't have time for that. What is it there's a circle? The sign fixed. We headed outside and mounted it carefully over That's the That's not the sign I used! Okay, confirm. There's three solutions. Maria, it looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. Yeah, now that you got a sign. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. But that's not all you need to do. You need to work on your socials, like plug your Twitter, plug your YouTube, aka Twitter.com, DJ Skill Track. Um, sword track me a uh, YouTube. I don't have an Instagram. I should make one, but I don't have anything really worth worth posting or whatever. I don't have a TikTok. TikTok is pretty lame. <laughs> of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. I guess some socials would save you. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. See who else is in here? Nope, same people, but thank you for sticking by. <laughs> Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Whoa! What is it with you with that sign? We just fixed it. It looked nice. You being rude. And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Okay, that's the minute to load. Everything is illuminated. See, there's multiple solutions. That was supposed to be an ice cream. And she was like, ooh, it's a Game Boy Advance. But it only has one button. Which means this is a, a television or something. Because this has to be based in the 80s. It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. Whew! I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly! It's top secret! It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. Yeah, sorry if you hear the background, that's my folks cooking in the kitchen. And the door is kind of broken. We need some place more quiet. Uh, someday. You have to someday. squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse.
I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. Yep. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Uh, let's see, that could possibly be the screen being damaged, or the batteries die, or faulty wiring. You know how it is when you go to the flea markets and the Mexican in the back of the alley, back of the alley and they be having those generic consoles? Your parents need to square up and get you a Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo Power. Can you fix it for me? We should be able to. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yep, screen got cracked. That's what I was. That's what I figured. That comes off. That entirely comes off. It looks like the whole thing needs me. Looks like a lot of stuff going on here. Alright, we gotta pull all these wires off. Just do it to make sure to get out of the way. Thankfully, there's no screwdrivers in this part. And then this one got uh, old and rusty and dusty too. No, actually, I did this wrong. I need to take off. I can't move those. Because this got a better one. Alright, there we go. Oh, and there's a rock here too. Oh no, the A button. It's been overworn. Let's just take that off temporarily. So. Pop that back in. Yeah, pop that back in and put this back in. It's pretty easy. I wish it was. The, I really wish it would be, that stuff like this was this easy. All right, now we need the wires. I wasn't not paying attention to the chords. No way. That went to the light. Two. Okay, let me go with three, huh? Okay, as long as these matches should be fine. Okay, lights are on. Anyways, the next thing we need to do is come back on here, cover this back on here. They didn't give us a new battery, did they? No. Do grown 
grown-ups play games as well? Well, I'm supposed to be a grown-up, and I play games. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Probably. Can you show me how to play? Woo! Before, but it was so hard. <laughs> Please, mini game, mini game, mini game. Ooh! <laughs> That's a mini game within the game. Oh wow! I wish you didn't have to use the uh, D-pad to do stuff. I'm about to do everything. Got it. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, that was a cute little mini game. Oh, <laughs> actually, I'm swaying and amused by that. <laughs> uh, I wish it was more. Oh, well. Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, it's taking it's refuge in a three inch world of her own. Oh, but yeah, the Pokemon Snap. Nobody even talk about that game anymore. Nor the Diamond Pro remakes, which I have mentioned before. Now that we got a conversation going out the ways. But... Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Oh, no, no. Secret safe, but... Uh, anyways. Oh, the people talking about the uh, Diamond Pro remakes. I don't see anything wrong with Chibi Dawn and Lucas and Barry. I'm worried. What I'm worried about about the Diamond Pro remakes is that with the fact that the last remakes or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, what they did was they made the game super easy. And I'm worried that Sin that they're that the Sin and Leaf Four was known as the hardest, most well the most difficult Elite Four in the game. In known game history, it was so hard that they changed it to from then on, Generation 5 onwards, you can choose your order of the Elite Four. And Cynthia, being a monster as she is, of course, her team being higher, different than Platinum, she might get her Platinum team, but it's feel is going to be nerfed. Her team is going to be nerfed beyond repair. As for the Legends, Arce Legends Arceus. I'm neutral towards it. It's okay. I feel like that's what everybody wants is a 3D action RPG, but the question is, like, how you incorporate it into, like, you have to really get into making the models actually move and do stuff, and, but man, the, the battle attack animations seem kind of the same. Money costs where money costs, but something has to be done. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. <laughs> oh, she is a gamer. She will grow up to be a great gamer. Hopefully, we're rallying around a virtual model that makes her super rich because people are like that. Nothing wrong with them. down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. I have nothing wrong with VTubers. I enjoy their content. It's basically like it's basically the analogy of them like wrestling. That's how I see it as. Best way to explain it. Anyways, back to the game. Nobody wants to hear me ramble. <laughs> My dad said I have to go to the stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress. And I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Oh, I understand now. Daddy's never... She feels that Daddy's never around. She wants to play. Spend time with Daddy. And not fo not mention work. Also, oh, she doesn't want to wear a dress. That is a future tomboy. That is a tomboy if I've ever seen one. The fact that she had a Walkman and then... Her old Walkman and a Game Spear. <laughs> I'll call it Game Spear. Oh, I feel bad. Like, Karen, spend time with, make some time for your kids. That way they don't grow up to be a bad, feeling abandoned and neglected and negative emotions and all of that. A little time goes a long way. Save your, that's why I say, if you want to support the channel, this new stream, then go ahead, thank you in advance, but only if you're financially stable. More stable than I am. 
save your money, use it for more important things like keeping your head over your shoulders, having a safety net in case something goes wrong like COVID did. There's a lot. <laughs> With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. Well, I'll be recording for an hour. Now, <laughs> uh, I would end it, but I want to like keep going. Cause... It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? You probably were both teen in the, uh, 70s, I want to say. <laughs> it's like, I... Talking about hippie revolution, rock music is so lame, dancing to do wop do wop wop boop wop ba da so scoot lily. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me, maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. You should get. You should contact your parents. Also, contact your parents. They even care about you. Game over. <laughs> the game ain't over yet. We still got to fix this watch. I'm making sure that's the game and not outside. It's crazy things have happened. Don't want to mention it. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed. My favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I tripped. <laughs> I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. I'm glad that these games don't have a game over screen, otherwise I'd be stuck at these for hours. Totally on embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Dead battery, probably. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a thing. No, dang it. God, don't click. Oh wow, that actually really easily. No, good screwdriver. And then unscrew everything. Always unscrew the stuff first. Ah, uh, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. Do you have a replacement? Hey! That's good though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. <laughs> Gotta take all the cogs off. that back. And now comes the tricky part. But they'll tell you how to do it anyways. Just you're not gonna work. <laughs> ah. That's where you go. Are you sure it will all fit back together? Of course we can. Or my, or my name is Joel. I had something and I ruined it. I had something and I ruined it. <laughs> Dang it.
Oh, see, yeah, you got cracked. And now he's gonna move this. Oh, there's a new lens. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Well, he cares. Yeah, with the fact that it's, the mom is dead, and the fact that, um, yeah, the mom's dead, dad's not around, she's feeling neglected and alone. Next thing you know, if you don't be careful, she'll be going out with boys and doing bad things. And just like that. Just like that. We fix this watch. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's like a really simple game that can probably only take like a minute or so, but because I'm trying to talk and try to converse with the invisible chat in my head and on the floor. Dude, why is it not working? Why am I not done yet? There's something wrong. There shouldn't be anything wrong. I'm just like, wait. No, oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to see it again. Okay, I'm confused now. There's something else going on here. Yeah, just click and do everything faster. <laughs> There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Am I forgetting a part? What did I do this in a row? No. Okay. Oh, this piece of it. here. Okay, that is weird. There's something going on here. I'm really trying to pay attention like what's on. No, you go there. Unless these are in the wrong order. Maybe that's the problem. Aha! There we go. We solved it. Put that back. Grab a screw. No. Grab a screw. As soon as I rotate you again. Grab a screw. But dang it. Sometimes it's just hard to do it like multiple at a time. I wish the screen would be a little bigger. Okay, there we go. Now we put this here. Then we put this here. Then we put this here. Then we put all these in here. See, trial and error always solves the thing. So if I'm if I'm very quiet, it's just that I'm not. As I said, I'm not used to talking for anything. Like I want to talk. What I want to do is get better at communicating because I have autism and that becomes a thing. And with that, we are done. About a rush. A rush of Russians. Okay, let's see if we can get this going and continue on. As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I don't even know what my stream is.
I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. So my cut, if it's above like 10 gigs, Yeah, I want to see like how my dad is doing because this is my first thing. I want to see like how much I use in this past hour or so. Crap. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to see this. Don't mind me. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel. I barely see her, and when I do, she acts like she hates me. Hmm, not bad. Okay, about... Let's, uh, let's do, could do maybe another one. I just want to make sure I don't go over my limit, because this is my only other source of the internet. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. How about we do maybe two more chapters and then I might call it there because again, this is just the first screen, just me getting an idea of like how long, what, what that is. As I left, that. I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. So yeah, trying to make sure that the data doesn't go overboard. Well, because I do want to scream more, but I might get a fix in time. I might try to get more data. Yeah, actually, that's good in the final stop. Do the first ten. The bigger picture. Oh no, the cash register is something is broken. But while I'm talking, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. That's the main thing I need to work on. I want to try to become more social and talk more as this community grows. Y'all probably just hearing this, just having it on your background. Thank you for having it on the background. Yeah, I really appreciate it. But seeing all these others, like I would have done this last year, but a lot of things happen because normally my job would be a thing, but enough about that. What I was going trying to say was stuff else, but that's not really doing using that much. I might do more in the future. Maybe one I'll I'll do one a couple weeks from now and see where it goes. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. Clearer than some people I know. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. I would probably say she is more uptight. I think that's the word you're looking for there. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be fun doing these things. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Yep, when in doubt, sell your waifus. As much as the otaku and people want to cry and complain, selling them will get their money back. Because I can see all the collectors that I've built over the years of stuff, probably do watch parties and whatnot, probably get copyrighted, will cause some drama. But I know a way of doing it. I do know of a way somehow to do it. Maybe. Again, that's a big maybe. I'm gonna have to figure this out in the future. No, I'm just figuring out. I might be able to pull this off. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? 
Wow, that is an old school slide projector I've ever seen. That's the one I was like, and this is us in Paris, and this is us in Rome, and this is us in Cancun. Oh no, and this is, oh my, click, click, click. <laughs> uh, those were the times. Okay, first thing we're going to do is unscrew this. And then, unscrew this. No. The whole thing just came off. Anything else? Hmm, that's a broken too. This is like back then the technology was a lot simpler. I don't think there's much to do here except this broken too. That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Hmm. Is there something else I see? Okay, there's a thing there. There's some screws here. Make sure to look at every nook and cranny. Because you never know what could be in the store. Alright, now we can move this away. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Stuck, and uh, we got gyro controls that'll make you very nauseous. Right. You please. Oh, yeah, this is like really tricky to maneuver. Nothing clickable, huh? And then, oh, no, 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 no. Crap. I'm sorry about that. That is making people a lot of people dizzy. Uh, okay, so we want it to do something like this, I guess. This one I'm really trying to figure out. I can just move the mouse. Okay, let's see down. That there. Then you put this there. Then you take the screwdriver. Aim it. Like that. And you grab the screwdriver again. Hey, be weirdly Trissy. It's missing. Yeah, I see that. Wait, label. Was that the crack one? No. Go back. Put this here. I'm still trying to figure this out. Uh, no, put that back. Ah, that's what was wrong. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looked so sad. That was wrong. I was just facing her way. Oh, look at all these. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Ah, there's our wire missing. Looks like something is still missing. So we don't have that piece yet. So we're going over. Okay. Dude. No. Bag thing. Ah. See, this was annoying about having two screens. Okay. So 
Can I recalibrate real quick? There'll be a lot of recalibrating on this stupid mouse. Looks like something is still missing. Yes, I see that. I see that. What is missing? Okay, I see now. That's how that works. When we were go. younger, Carmen was always following me around. There we go. Figured it out. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. I mean, big sister. Just start putting the screws back in at this point. As soon as I get the mouse recount. At least that was an easy fix over there. There we go. And now we just bail and put the screw on because of course we do. So I guess it only works. It makes things a lot easier. Now we're gonna see like this. So I'll at least try to see it. She used to ask me when I was coming home, but I was always too busy. Well, sorry you didn't get a chance to read that. I managed to finish it. Oh no! What do we do now? I, oh, deal, Neil. Oh man, it's just so many people just. All right, back to the game. <laughs> Being a derp. Helena was transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... Oh, I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. Oh wow, it's already said something. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Oof. Maybe you should resell that camera and get some of that money back. Use it to get a new job. Because otherwise y'all have to do some other stuff. Come and think I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. I understand. Sometimes you want to help, but you can't. Blood is thicker. I mean, a family try to ask me, I mostly dodge away, but then I would like to help. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? It's not just herself, she wants to. Helena fell silent shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. She, she'll help you out. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Look, it's okay. She'll take. She'll be able to take care of you. Blood is thicker. I'll both go in, work on the restaurant, make some more peels, and then while well, being by the moon, you should be able to get back up on your feet. I already know how. I'm sorry for yawning. It's just <laughs> lack of energy. I need to get better at getting energy out. But I can see the ending. I am Kama Katsuragi. I can already see the ending. Slide away to the DMs. Slide away to the DMs. Hopefully they answer back. 
or else they think you're right on crack. Slide away into the DMs. Slide away into the DMs. You're not a stalker, you're just a fan. They all run where they call you Stan. <laughs> Anyways, last one we're going to be doing for today, chapter 10. Boiling Point. Oh yeah, Lady Gaga was on that show once. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the store today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! She didn't lie, she's just anxious. Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I feel this pain from when I was working at my last job, before everything went down in the toilet. There were times where I would have a day off, but then... Ring, 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 ring. Can you come into work for this person? Can you come into work? And then that day, I mean, I had two days off, so I at least have one day off. But it hurts sometimes, like, you were hoping to get at least some more time to, like, rest, spend time with loved ones, all types of things, but some, you can't guarantee yourself free days like you used to. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? So we gotta make a thing. <laughs> We're cooking. Hmm. Okay, now let me click here. Hmm. This is gonna take a minute. Just click until we see. Wait, are you supposed to put this in here? No. Hmm, ingredients. Plant stock, stick a half a peanut. Does anything. Alright. We're learning. We are oh wait, let's put this in here. Oh no, that's leaf this is not part of it. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a thing. Ain't it? I'm looking. Looking at the graph. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> no, not one of these. Put that over there. Yeah, put this over here. It all fits. Now to light the gas. Now we just switch this. Oh wait, I see now. Ah, it's a bit gross. Oh, I see. 
apparently we should get There we go, grab the soup, like that. I think that pot is really boiling now. It smells great if I say so myself. There we go! <laughs> Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Oh, we have all this in order. Alright, so, so take uh, butter. Uh, a carrot. Okay, carrot. And then three broccoli. Boo the broccoli. One broccoli. Two broccoli. Three broccoli. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Wild mushrooms. A handful of tomato might be about two. And then three. Okay. Plenty of YouTube quality content. I'm trying to see. I'm nearsighted. Plenty of nuts. <laughs> Oregano. This ain't anything about onions, right? No, I don't see anything. I don't want to screw things up. Are we supposed to put all these in here? I guess we put all these in here. Ah, yes. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Okay, now it's turning orange. Turning green. Toss the whole to me in there. Yeah, let's just toss everything in there. Toss everything in the pot! Make it work! I don't know what color it's supposed to be. <laughs> Can we get a bad ending? Then there's the onions. Yeah, give me this one at a time and three. Finish them. Four seasons two. Okay! That should be it. It is getting pretty late over here. Did a little test run. Thank you for those that came around, came to watch. I want to try to do longer ones in the future, but. I got my my data. Anyways, my need to lead y'all somewhere. Carmen took How's over that and work? added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. It tastes awful. <laughs> that was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? And this is my cauliflower. <laughs> it's raw. <laughs> Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. We'll see. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. Yeah, come on, Elena. Havana. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. Oof. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years, I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Oof. Well, hello, Master Chef. 
I am not a master chef at all, but we got a couple more chapters to go, but we're not going to focus on them for the foreseeable future. Until the data gets better off and all that. Oh, we didn't even look at this. Oh, okay, here we go. Let me go to Ryan's graphics. Maybe this could help. Uh, resolution 1020. Aliasing, V sync. Ah, there we go. Well, now I know how to make this thing a little bigger. <laughs> At the end of this, I should have done this when I started the stream. It's still new. Anyways, how many? Oh, okay, pass up the Steam page. There are achievements. Yes, I'm on Steam. I am Poop on Man Steam. Play for 1.5 hours. We have four more achievements to go. I have no friends, as you can see. Yeah, wow. That's how long I've been playing. <laughs> how do you get back into the game? Oh, okay, click here, return the game, there's the credits. You gotta follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And... I would try to send y'all off to raid, but it's my first stream, and I don't think we're pretty. It's pretty small. I might do it in the future, but right now, I guess I could say. I uh, know it's a been a broken record today, but thank you to the people that were able to come out to my very first stream. I honestly don't know when I'm going to stream again. No, it's, going, it's not going to be too far into the future. Like, I don't want to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it every day. But I will try to, like, squeeze it maybe twice a month or so. Until I can get the hang of it, figure out how much data is used. Maybe once I get a better data connection that is more consistent, that I can just need one item, one thing plugged on. But, well, get a better connection that's more consistent. Then I'll, then I'll definitely record and stream more frequently. But... Until then, I bid everyone in here adieu. Class is dismissed, and we and you're free to go wherever you want to go. <laughs> Again, thank you if you enjoy the videos. This first stream is a total disaster. I say, follow up, keep in keep in touch. I said I might pop in randomly another day, or. You could, well, I, well, I don't want to ask for subscriptions yet. This is just the first stream. Maybe like 10 streams or so. I might ask for subscriptions and whatnot. If you want to support your boy, toss in some, toss in a bit or two. Help this channel grow. I still have yet to set that up. If you have the money, if you have the funding to do it, then support. If not, that's okay. I'm not asking for much or anything at all. Just making sure everyone here has had a good time. Anyways, I have been DJ Skip Track. Good night.